2020. A year that has been one of the very most challenging, inspiring, frustrating, and character building years of my life. I had a plan. Well, we all did, huh? <laughs> Plans to travel, go to school, hell, maybe go home, start anew. Whatever, whichever, wherever. Plans. I like to make sure they're malleable so as to permit spontaneity in whatever fashion. Those plans, I find, are the best plans. 2020, the year of many firsts. My first car, my first time living on my own outside of my hometown. The year I met Olivia. The year I started my own business developing film. 2020, the first time I've experienced a global depression coupled with a renewed, passionate population of those who are deeply concerned with making the world a better, more accepting, equal place. A sort of unprecedented hope, if you ask me. So, here we go. A retrospective of my life during this year of many, many notable events. Sunrises meeting sunsets, adorned with sunlit hours, all too many adventures to verbally catalog. But here's my attempt to truly and wholeheartedly convey 2020 in my eyes through the short videos and numerous photographs. Thank you, and I hope you found some light in this very deeply shaded year. Yours truly, Jocelyn Tamara Maxwell. Play the clips. I feel like this year painted the entire world white, be that all kinds of its inhabitants with a white canvas, ready to paint whatever color they pleased, of whatever shade, of whatever hue, that crossed their minds even once. And hey, that might make for a Jackson Pollock kind of painting, if you ask me, but I didn't have the time to do this before, to carefully select what colors I wanted on my canvas. I was always so busy doing other things with my life rather than doing the thing that I truly wanted to do. I was always working. I had distractions. I'd hang out with people that were no good for me. I'd have it have a very hard time planning for the future because I didn't know if I'd seen one for myself. But with comes a white canvas, comes a lot of responsibility, and yet sometimes none at all. I think that we have a grand opportunity to mess up and learn and I think we shouldn't be so afraid to do that. I think that we should let ourselves make all kinds of mistakes. <laughs> and this year, it was when I had the time to make some, sure, calculated mistakes, but mistakes nonetheless that taught me more than a lot of my successes ever will. That is to believe in myself in an unapologetic way. I invested into photography and videography a lot this year. I started using my film camera, my Nolte X7A, more than my digital camera, aka the Sony A6, which later broke after filming a very cool 50 cent Nikon film video, <laughs> which you should definitely check out. I then started a photography business, which I ran at home while I worked pretty much nonstop to save money to move to a city this year. 
and I spent a decent amount of time with the people I love. And it taught me that no matter how far away you are from someone, if there is a true enough bond, a true enough reciprocal caring for each other, you can keep something alive forever. So I want to say thank you. Thank you to my wonderful girlfriend, Olivia, to my magnificent friends, Lucas, Griffin, Eli, Maddie, Tiana. You guys will always be my favorite people. And I hope that I've been able to add quite a bit of color and warmth to your life. And I hope that for everyone watching this, you've been able to take a sort of reflection throughout the year and audit your lives and carefully omit the things that do not serve you and that do not help you and rather implement the things that make your heart sing that make you want to get up out of bed in the morning with a spring that make you so unbelievably cheesy that you can't help but smile at all kinds of strangers or even at an inanimate object once you walk out of the door in the morning. So go, go make a list of things that you want to do for 2021. Plan these things even though it seems so unattainable. Because when you do have the time, or rather, when you make the time, you'll be golden. Because you are worth every interest that you have, every inkling of an idea that you'd like to pursue. You're worth it, and you can do anything. <laughs> Peace out.